the national television championship. Well, Gordon, I'm not going to get out here and yell and scream and cry and whine. You know, I've heard a lot of people out here today screaming, crying, whining, and threatening. Because, Steve Kern, I don't have to do this because in your heart, you know, we've had a lot of, lot of battles, and I gotta give the guy credit. I used to think he had a lot of guts, but I'm starting to think now he got no brains. So, Kern, what I'm saying to you, I'm not threatening you, and I'm not screaming, and I'm not yelling, but I'm gonna tell you this, and this is from the bottom of my heart, I'm gonna hurt you real bad. And you can make a book on that. Steve Kern, I'm gonna do something to you that's gonna put an end to this. You know, I'm not crying about I lost the belt. You know, the first time I lost the belt to Steve O, it took Kern and O to beat me. You know that, you saw the film. This film, we'll see, it shows exactly that I had Steve Kern pinned for at least a six count. The referee was down, he got up, Kern hit me with something illegal and won. But what I gotta say to Kern is this thing. You know, Kern, I admire you for one thing. It isn't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. And you won this game, but the game's coming down to this. Sooner or later, it's gonna be mine. And Gordon, can I just say one more thing? You know, it gets back to a story that happened to me as a child. You know, people say, you know, you've changed, you don't trust anybody. But I'm gonna tell you a story, Curran, and you better not trust anybody, and you better not ever turn your back on me, because I'm gonna tell you something. You know, when I was a child, about six years old, my father put me in a tree, and he said, come on, Kevin, jump. I said, Daddy, I'm afraid I'll fall on the ground. He said, I'll catch you. I said, no, it's too high. He said, jump, son, I'll catch you. I said, I'm afraid I'll get hurt. He said, son, I'm your father. I'll catch you. Jump. Well, I jumped. As I jumped, he pulled his hands away, and I landed straight in the ground on my head. You know, and it was a good story because, you know what, my, my, my old man looked at me, and he said, see, son, don't trust anybody, not even your own father. So Steve Kern, I'm giving it to you straight. I'm going to hurt you. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, he's saying he made some accusations. I think it's only fair. We take a look. Let's go back to that particular match that was held at the Omni, uh, and we'll take a look at this uh, television championship match. Now, uh, certainly you can't say that what you're doing here uh, is within the, the realm of the rule. No, I'm, I'm not going to make any, uh, I'm not going to hide this fact. Right here, Steve Kern and I have beat each other half to death. I get to give Kern credit. I'm not going to do anything in the rule book because I'm out to do one thing, hurt this man. Right there is the finest physical specimen in professional wrestling today, myself. I gotta give Kern credit. He's a hell, hell of an athlete. He looks good. He's strong. He's tough. And I get any other man that had any brains would have gave up 15 minutes ago. This jerk, I don't know what he's got in him, but he's getting up and he's gonna try to fight me back. Right there, Gordon, that would knock the building down. Right there, he's out on his feet. All I want him to do is quit, lay down, so I can knock him down again. Right there, I chopped him right there in the face. You're gonna see him holding his teeth in a little while. He's right there, he's hurt, he's out. I have the match my own way. I haven't seen Kern make an offensive move yet. No one else in the Army did either. The man's a human walking punching bag. You've certainly got to admit that he's got tremendous intestinal fortitude to put up with this kind of punishment and keep coming back for more. Well, Gordon, if it was myself, I'd say his intestinal fortitude. When I say it's him, it's no brains. The man has no brains. If you don't have any brains, no nerve endings, you can't feel pain. Right there, he's giving me his best shot, and I'm trading right here. I mean, he's hit me with everything, and he has. I'm not going to take anything away from Kern. As an athlete, he's a, one of the top in the world today. He's big, he's strong, and right here, this would stop any normal human being what he did to me. Shoulder breaker. Right there, he can't even figure out what he's supposed to do. See, he jerked me up by the hair of the head. That's against the rules. I'm not going to bring this out, and I'm not going to whine about it, but he jerked me up by the head right there against... I don't know who he's pointing to, his mother or somebody. Well, another shoulder breaker, and... Uh... What's, what did he do then, Gordon? You please tell me what he did. Well, he obviously is trying to uh, pay back some of the punishment that you. What did he tried to do, I know you're trying to be unbiased. What he did was illegal. He pulled me up by the hair of the head, right here, the sleeper. A legal hold. I want to show you something now, right here. The referee gets in the way and collides with Kern and myself. It was just that I'm in better shape than the referee and Kern. And right here, I'm getting Kern in position. Now, as I climb on the second rope. I'm on the second rope, legally, on 
on his throat. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine count. That's three times I pinned him in the one match. Right here, I'm getting up. Okay, he reaches in. Foreign object. He hit me with the foreign object. A forearm is not a forearm. No, he had something in his hand. Foreign object. One, two, three. Now, I got to give Kern credit, like I said. It isn't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. Kern happened to win a small skirmish. See him holding his teeth? That's why I chopped him, chopped him high. Kern, next time you're going to be holding more than your teeth. Face, he doesn't even know where he is. He doesn't know he's holding my belt that's given to me from divine right, Gordon. That belt is mine. Divine right, I own the belt. Getting up to my feet, great athlete I am. He hit me with a foreign object and didn't even phase me. Stood right up. You know, this man is sick. This man, I, 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 the words, I cannot describe him. It makes me sick to see a hubcap thief holding a belt that is mine by divine right. That is given to me. I inherited that belt. That is mine in Steve Kern. I'm going to tell you again. I'm not going to go out here scream and I'm not whining because there isn't any athlete in the world that hasn't at one time felt the sting of a loss. Kern, what that loss did to me was just going to make me so conscious of you now that I am not going to give you one moment to breathe when we get in the ring again. Because I know you're in great shape, but I'm going to come at you, Steve Kern, straight at you. And just remember one thing, Steve Kern. It's what my father told me. Don't trust anybody. And you better not trust me. And please, Steve Kern, don't turn your back on me because I am and I will be a back jumper and a backstabber because I want my belt back and no matter what I have to do, I'm gonna get it. Thank you so very much. Kevin Sullivan, the former national television champion. That title now held by Steve Kern in 